Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Um, today we're just going to go over a few things that I've got from the shop recently that have just been released. There's a filament box, a turntable for scanning, a manual turntable, and some filaments, some new filament that's come out. So we'll just be going through that. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. It'd be much appreciated. Just click that subscribe button. That's all it requires. And at the end, if you like the video, just give us a like. Okay, um, as always, I do have affiliate links down in the description. Uh, there's one for Creality with all the stuff you get from Creality, and there's one for Sunloo. Me much appreciate if you're going to buy something, buy it through that link. Okay, guys, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so the first thing I've got is this filament storage box that Creality has just released. So I'll open that up and see how it, what it's like. These just came in the mail yesterday, they've only just been released. And, in the shop, so we've got that would be the box. Oh, assembly required. <laughs> okay, there's that, there's that. They're just um, moisture munchers. Okay, so what we've got is uh, four poles, two end bits. So this will be the rack which they go on. So I've got a bundle of screws here and I'll just screw them in. Oh, they've got instructions if you want to read them, but psh. it's pretty self-explanatory when you're looking at it. So basically you've got these on the bottom. They will be the, um, the bottom bit, bit with the angles on. So then it's got something to stand on. And then it's just a matter of screwing four of these in here and four in the other end, I gather. That's an Allen key. Do they give you an Allen key? Uh, no. Just do it like that. We can do it up tight later. So it's meant to be um, moisture and dust proof. So if you're not using your filament for a while, just store them in here and it keeps all the moisture and stuff out. Keeps all the dirt and stuff off if you've got to store them somewhere too. Because at the moment, I've just got them lying all over the floor. Uh, so I saw this on there, I thought, oh, it'd be good to, you I mean, you could buy other stuff, but I like to, it to look like, like nice and neat and stuff and match in with my gear. Uh, I can't remember how much it costs. I think it was about a hundred Australian dollars. So that's probably around the 50, $60 US mark. If it's moisture proof, it'll keep all the moisture out of your, um, off your filament too, while it's stored in here. Because I'll, I'll um, tighten it right up when I um, find my Allen keys around here somewhere, but I'm not going to worry about it now. Okay, so there you've got just your little container. Now in here will be what that goes into. And you've got some more moisture munches in here as well. Or desiccant packs, if you want to call them that. So, how does it go? Uh huh. Okay, that'll be one side, that'll be another side. What's with this one? And this will go. Maybe I do need instructions. How's it meant to go? Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry, should have read the instructions. So, what it's saying to do, I'll just rip that bit up, is put this in first. That's the back. That goes inside. And it's got this little Velcro thing. Yeah, so that goes around the middle frame. I hold it all in place. So this thing goes in this way. I don't know what that's for. Okay, I don't know. So the backing goes in here, and then you put your frame in side there like that. Then you velcro onto the side. And the other side's like magnetic, like so. 
I would leave the moisture much as it come with it, chuck them in there, and filament, filament rolls will fit in, fit in like so. There'll be one down the top, one at the bottom, so where we got one, two, three, four, yeah, it's probably hit five, so it probably fits ten in. Ten rolls in, and that's your case. It's magnetic on the side here, Velcro on this side. Oh, the wrong way. Visible windows. We've got to put take the plastic off properly later. Like so. Won't keep all your moisture out because it's not a sealed unit up the top here, unless this goes on the outside, no that doesn't go on the outside. Okay. So that's our filament storage box. It's pretty snazzy, you've got all your filament in there. <coughs> okay, so next thing we've got is for anyone that's got a scanner and doesn't have a little box I think, I don't know, I can't remember how much, it's less than 20 bucks, so less than 10, 10 US I gather. Is this little basic lazy season for your scanning? So basically, you can put your model on top. Here's a model. Here's a model. The scan, like so, and you can just manually rotate it while you're scanning. So it's just a Like so. so. Got a bearing in the middle there. Probably also got some, probably got two bearings on it. Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like there's just a bearing in the middle. But for scanning, if you've got a scanner. Um, the next thing we've got. A few nice little rainbow filaments that have been released. So let's get them out. Okay. So we have we have this one which is this one's Spring Lake. Spring Lake is this nice soft coloured multi coloured and it's got a fairly short range in it. Where's this one? So I printed this thing on the floor here. So here's one I printed with that um, filament. So this is a, um, I did a little bee off. I can't remember who did this. So probably Flexi, probably Flexi Factory, I'd say. Um, but you can see how it's, it's changed and it mold, uh, blends in really nice. It's got a blend to it. It's not a sharp cut to it. Um, on the face there. And it's a Pascally type colour. Okay. So that's the uh, Spring Lake one. It's the mild coloured rainbow filament. And it's a hyper filament too. So it's a high speed one to use in the K1 series or the Ender 3 V3 series. Um, okay. So this one is Wild Blossom. As you can see, it is a bit darker. Okay, it's still a Pascally car, and I did this one in the Wild Blossom. Okay, you can see the colours, and you can see how they. So you can see the difference. One's a one's more of a light Pascally colour. See the blues on the top. It's a bit darker on this one. So this is they're very similar, but this one's a darker. This one's a lighter. Okay, now the. The other one that's released is, no, sorry, sorry, this one was Wild Blossom S, so short. So the change in between the colours, if you can see the head, the head was sticking up like so, from here. And you can see how quickly the colours changed. Okay, so that means it's a short colour change. The other one is Wild Blossom Long, so it's this stuff. And it's a little bit brighter in the in the colours, and you can see all the colours in there, but they change less often than these do. I don't know if you can see the difference in the colour changes there. There's a lot more colour changes in, in this one 
than there is in this one. Okay. So they're the two. So you've got two a um, two wild blossoms. One's an S and one's an L. That's just the, uh, how quickly the colours change. S for short, short, short inst uh, um, instances between the colour change, and one's L for long. Takes longer to colour change. And then you've got the hyper, which has a colour change. I think is going to be similar to the short. Okay. So there are the three filaments. This is the manual. rotation tray for your scanning and then we've got the filament box okay so they're the couple of things that Creality have released in the last week or two um, that's about it the K2 should be out hopefully sometime next month so it's due, it was said that it was going to be out in the 30th of September they're going to start shipping the first lot out so that's it's less than a month away so hopefully they will be on target with that. I've heard a few rumours about the um, CPS, the Creal uh, CF sorry, CFS, the Creality Filament System, uh, is meant to be coming out soon as well. But not, uh, not sure on that. That's just a rumour I've heard. Um, so that that will fit on all the K series printers and the uh, Ender 3 V3 series, I believe. The um, at least the V3. Might not, I'm not sure about the KE and the SE definitely fit on the the v3 and the v3 plus um, so that's it guys um, stay tuned for us for next week I will have some more out next week uh, if not before then I might get another one out before then um, if you did like it please subscribe and give us a like and I'll see you in the next one okay guys bye okay guys thanks for watching I really do appreciate the support you might like one of these or one of these <laughs> videos um, that I've made in the past, so feel free. Okay, thanks guys, bye.